What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Beating the market one trade at a time. All right, hope everybody's having a great week out there. I uh, hope everybody is able to lock in some profits this week. Um, been a lot of fluctuation throughout the regular stock market as well as the crypto market. Uh, I'm going to give you some of the crypto news for this week. So these are some of the articles uh, that just basically stood out to me um, and some things that are interesting in the world of crypto. Uh, so first, let's jump into the first article. Uh, this is just talking about uh, Mark Cuban, who uh, is from Shark Tank, but he is also the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, uh, said that the Mavericks will now be um, accepting Dogecoin as a payment for MAV tickets. So um, the cryptocurrency uh, Doge, which was hyped up a lot on TikTok, as well as uh, by CEO Elon Musk, is now going to be a form of currency that you can buy MAV tickets. Um, so as you all have known, uh, Mike, Mark Cuban is definitely one of the entrepreneurs that's on uh, the leading edge of you know NFTs and uh, crypto and one of the early, I guess, billionaire adopters, in my opinion, uh, as far as the crypto world is concerned. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I think it's very interesting um, that he adopted it so fast. Um, I don't know what other cryptocurrencies uh, math tickets can be bought as. Um, you know, just last week or the week before, uh, Elon Musk saying that Tesla will be accepting Bitcoin for. Uh, purchase of their vehicles so it seems like more and more people uh, or more and more companies are starting to be able to accept uh, different forms of cryptocurrencies uh, that are out there so definitely uh, more and more adoption of crypto uh, is coming you know to the world next on here uh, another article uh, that I thought was interesting says 40% of Goldman Sachs clients uh, reported exposure to crypto uh, from a survey that they actually had uh, so the survey showed 40% of uh, respondents have exposure to cryptocurrencies and 54% predict the price of BTC will be between 40k and 100k. Uh, news of the survey was first reported uh, by the block. Uh, so if you go to uh, Goldman Sachs, um, you know, client base, they are pretty well off wealthy people. Um, so definitely, you know, it's very interesting to... Uh, me, you know, especially being someone, you know, being fairly new into the crypto space, uh, seeing that uh, a lot of these uh, clients are, you know, predicting that it's going to be between 40K to 100K. And then also saying that, you know, a lot of people uh, are jumping into it. 40% to me is still a large uh, amount of, you know, people uh, with substantial amount of capital to be jumping into uh, Bitcoin or crypto in general. Uh, so I think, you know, it's basically speaks uh, for itself, the growth of crypto. And, you know, you still have people like the previous article, uh, Mark Cuban jumping in uh, and allowing that to be taken into um, <clears throat> as an actual payment for, uh, you know, math tickets. It says other key takeaways include 61% of um, respondents expect their digital assets to increase in the next 12 to 24 months, and 32% were most interested in prime brokerage for physical or spot to gain exposure to cryptocurrencies. Looking ahead, 22% of respondents uh, predict the price of Bitcoin will be over 100000 in 12 months, while 34% believe regulation and mandate permission uh, permissions are the great hurdles um, to starting uh, to allocate funds with digital assets. Um, on March 1st, reports emerged Goldman Sachs is relaunching its cryptocurrency trading desk uh, after a three-year hiatus and plans uh, to once again support Bitcoin futures trading and source familiar uh, with the matter firm uh, or confirm uh, to Coindesk. So, you know, they're starting to expand their crypto uh, portfolio, Goldman Sachs is. So a lot of these big players are basically jumping back into the crypto world uh, because they have clients who, you know, want to get into cryptocurrencies. Uh, so I think that's very interesting and definitely speaks uh, volumes about the growth of crypto. Now going into uh, next one, we have uh, Nin Dogecoin NFT fetches 69k uh, in ETH. Um, so, you know, this is definitely an article that I was looking at that was pretty interesting as well. Um, so you know, NFTs are basically uh, gifts or uh, 
a non-fungible token is what it stands for, NFT. Um, and you can make some on your own. I have a video uh, talking about it. Um, NFTs are basically uh, non-fungible tokens that are sold, um, you know, on the market. And I think um, they're going to continue to grow. Um, a lot of people are starting to jump onto the uh, NFT, you know, market like Mark Cuban jumped on. Uh, I even saw uh, Tyga and Tory Lanez jump on, uh, who are, you know, rappers who jumped onto uh, the NFT train. Um, I think Tory Lanez released some of his unreleased uh, music as NFTs, as well as Tiger released a couple of songs as NFTs. So a lot of people are jumping onto NFTs. Um, is actually, you know, a new way of selling merchandise. Um, and this is just a take on NINCAT. So uh, if you're not familiar with NINCAT, which is basically a gift from a long time ago, but they made the Doge version of it. Um, and these items are selling for uh, quite a bit. So uh, definitely interested to see you know, what more creations come out uh, from this. And if you want to check out uh, my NFT uh, page, I have it down below uh, for a link for that as well. So going into another news, uh, Amazon Web Services AWS uh, managed blockchain uh, will now support Ethereum uh, out to the box uh, some two years after the integration was first hinted in 2018. Uh, so with the launch, AWS customers can easily... Um, provision Ethereum nodes in minutes and connect to public Ethereum main network and test networks such as uh, Rinkyby and Robstein, uh, AWS said in a blog post uh, Tuesday. So Amazon Managed Blockchain also supports uh, Hyperledger Fabric, um, a permission blockchain network intended to promote enterprise applications. Um, so you know, they're definitely, you know, jumping into uh, the support of Ethereum. Uh, in my personal opinion, I like uh, Cardano a lot better than Ethereum, just because Ethereum's gas fees are, like, ridiculously high. So, um, you know, if you want to jump into NFTs, that's something that uh, you may have to deal with, uh, especially, you know, going through uh, something like OpenSea, uh, which is what I do mine through, or through Rarible, uh, which is another one um, that you can do. But the gas fees are so expensive. So, like, gas fees are basically they charge you to uh, put something on to the Rarible or OpenSea network. Um, but I usually do it through Rarible, which puts it on OpenSea automatically. Um, but, you know, gas fees are basically a fee for using uh, Ethereum. So, with Cardano, they're supposed to be getting rid of that. Um, and, you know, that's why I kind of like it a little bit better. Um, but, you know, if you want to get into involved into crypto, uh, I have links down below for BlockFi as well as Coindesk, um, two services that I'm not sponsored by, uh, but I do believe are uh, really good. You can, um, you know, stake your crypto uh, and start, you know, getting more and more back. Um, you can get interest on your crypto through BlockFi, so it's really good for that one. Um, and Coindesk supports a lot of different uh, forms of crypto, so... Um, definitely make sure you check those links down below. Also, I do have a Patreon, uh, which is called Mark Marauders, uh, where I talk about crypto as well um, as different stock picks for the week. Uh, I have live streams as well if you guys are interested in that. So make sure you check that down below in the link as well. And good luck to everybody out there trading this week, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <music>